Today I'm going to show you my gas heavy duty truck going up and down a max 25% grade while towing my travel trailer. Now if you're one of my subscribers then you probably already know that I'm fairly new to the gas heavy duty truck space for the last decade or so. I've owned diesel trucks. My last was a 21 Ram one ton dually with the high output Cummins and then I towed a 17,000 pound fifth wheel with it. Well, as you can see, I no longer have that fifth wheel. I downsized several months back to this travel trailer and it's only about 6,000 pounds, 25 feet long. And then I also swapped trucks, of course. So this is my 2024 GMC Sierra 2500 HD and it indeed has the 6.6 .6 liter gas engine. It's all naturally aspirated. There's no cylinder deactivation or anything like that. And so it's just a really nice, robust, heavy duty gas engine. Of course, it is paired with the legendary 10 speed Allison transmission and it's rated just at over 400 horsepower and then some 464 pound feet of torque. But I gotta say that I have been very impressed or I should say really impressed with the, the GM LAT engine so far, especially while, while towing. You know, I did a kind of an initial impressions video a couple months back towing my travel trailer over there. So definitely check it out if you haven't already. But uh, really, you know, I think the, the heavy duty gas truck, it makes a lot of sense for folks like me that are only towing on the weekends here and there, you know, uh, running unladen throughout the week mostly. I mean, that describes me. I think it makes a lot of sense both from the, the cost savings standpoint, you know, the savings of the, the gas engine up front versus the, the diesel engine, but then also lower maintenance because there's no DPF system. There's no def to refill. You know, none of that uh, emission stuff that adds to the complexity of the, the modern diesel engines. So anyway, just my two cents worth on modern heavy duty gas trucks. But back to the video, about a year ago, I published a similar video showing my previous truck. It was the Ram with the high output Cummins. It was a dually going up and down this, this same 25% max grade that I'm about to show you. Only I was towing then my 17,000 pound fifth wheel. So if you didn't catch that video, I'll put a card up above and a link below, definitely check it out. But today I'm gonna show you the same run with my gas truck here, but <laughs> towing my 6,000 pound travel trailer over there. And so obviously this is not an apples to apples comparison, not anything close to that, but it is the, the same 25% max grade. And uh, I don't know about you, but I always find it interesting how trucks handle towing loads under more challenging or, or uh, strenuous conditions, right? And so I thought it'd be interesting to record this same run again, only with my, my gas truck this time. And you know, at least from my perspective, this towing test of sorts, it's not a question of can the truck make it up and down the grade, right? Because what you're about to see, it's just over a mile in length and uh, the elevation change, it's, it's about 750 feet from the bottom to the top and then it maxes out at, at 2,500 feet above sea level. So it's a, it's a very short run. So it's not so much about can the truck make it up, but more of a question of how does the truck handle the ascent going up, right? What does the, the transmission do? What does it sound like? Uh, how high are the RPM, right? And then on the descent going down, how well does the, the engine work in conjunction with the gears, with the, the transmission and, and slowing the truck down? So first I'll play the ascent going up and then the same route going down. Now I'll just mention that the, the downhill portion, it didn't quite go as I, I hoped. Maybe my expectations were just a, a little bit unrealistic. I had done the, uh, the same downhill portion several times unladen uh, without the, the travel trailer. And when I did it unladen, the way I did it, I was able to get down with no brake applications whatsoever, just the, the engine brake essentially. And so you'll have to watch till the end and see how the, the truck did while towing my 6,000 pound travel trailer. All right, so here we are going up to the top and I'm gonna keep it mostly on this degree screen here so we can keep an eye on the degrees. You saw the side there, of course, 26% grade. And uh, last year I actually confirmed that it is pretty close. The steepest sections are pretty close. The truck is of course measuring in degrees. And if I recall, I think 14 and a half or so degrees approximately is the same as a 26% 
5% slope. And so there's a, a few sections that get up in that range. Otherwise, most of it's probably more in the, the 10 to 20% range there. But we'll keep an eye on it. And then the transmission fluid, I've been you know driving, so it's already warmed up, heated up pretty good. But I'll go back to that at the end of this, this run. I don't think it's going to go up that much. And we got a little bit of a drizzle going up. But what I'm curious about is to see just how high the RPMs go up here. Here's a pretty steep section. Looking at 11 degrees, 10 degrees. Yeah, so I mean, we're getting up there pretty good. And we got RPM right around 27, 2800. I do have more bandwidth if I, if I wanted, but this is not a race to get to the top. Actually, I was really impressed there. I thought the RPM would go up even higher. And I could feel my ears popping. We are definitely changing elevation rapidly. Got another steep section here. All right, nine degrees, 10 degrees. Yeah, and I still got bandwidth, by the way. I'm really impressed with the RPM though. I thought surely they would uh, be higher. And by the way, guys, I would love to be able to tell you what gear I'm in, but I do not know how to do that on the, the GM. I'm coming from a, a RAM background mostly for the last decade or so. And with RAM, it was real easy to do. I don't know that it's possible on the, the GM without some kind of aftermarket OBD2 reader or something plugged in. But uh, y'all comment below if you know how to show the current gear but uh, wow, I mean, I'm really impressed at the, uh, the RPM being only 2,000, 2,100, 2,200. Going up a steep grade like this. And I mean, there is plenty of bandwidth on the accelerator if I wanted to go faster. By the way, guys, on the exhaust, if you're hearing a little bit stronger exhaust note, I do have a Borla aftermarket system. If you didn't catch that video, I'll put a card up above for that. But really, that's more about you know an audible enhancement, not so much a, a performance gain there. Otherwise, everything else is OEM. And we are just about to the the top here. We're going to cut over to our our campsite area here. But that is the really the steepest of the section there to give you a little taste of what that's like. I can really feel my ears popping though. So really impressive. You know, this is the first time I've done this with a gas truck. You know, we've been coming here now for, oh, I guess it's about 2016. And every other time I've done this run with, uh, with an RV, it's always been with the diesel from three quarter ton diesels to one ton dualies. And so this is the first time I've done it with a, with a gas truck. That was really impressive. But I'll cut to some footage of what it's like up here to give you a taste. And then in a few days, we'll circle back and show you what the return, the return uh, trip down looks like going downhill.
camping trip and we are just pulling out of our campsite about to head back down the mountain and see how it how it does we had just a, a lovely time some really nice trails some really good hiking in here and so my goal going down is to uh, of course I've got it in tow haul mode but I want to see if if uh, with the tow haul mode engaged if it can uh, hold the gear you know my experience has been when you're in tow haul mode and you tap the brakes it's programmed to hold whatever current gear you're in it doesn't display it to you of course but it holds that gear and you know you may speed up a little bit especially if you're going down a big hill at a, a faster speed but it won't shift into that next gear when it's in tow haul mode and you tap the brakes and so I'm really curious though with this grade here that we're going down if it'll function the, uh, the same way there. If not, I'll just shift into the, the gear limit and uh, hold it in first gear. So we'll see how that goes. The uh, transmission temp, it's been idling just a little bit, but it's pretty, pretty cool right now. In fact, on the way up, I think I forgot to show what it was. It got up to about 174, 75, something like that. So not too bad, it's a you know, pretty short pretty short stint so here we go so I've got it in tow haul mode let me go back to our off-road screen and basically let's see if it holds that first gear for us so far so good it's holding that first gear and let's see if I can get all the way down without hitting the brakes It's up there, wow, 4,000 RPM. Now, I'm going a little bit faster in like, so I'm gonna tap the brakes to maintain control. You know, we're at uh, 10 degrees right here. So yeah, unfortunately the trailer weight, even though it's only 6,000 pounds, it is more than the engine alone and first gear can hold, but it is holding that first gear for me. And that's kind of a similar experience I had on the my last pickup. It was a one-ton Ram Dually with the high output Cummins. You know, it basically was just uh, too much weight. Of course, I was pulling more. It was about 17,000 pounds. But uh, just too much weight for the engine alone to slow down. So I'm letting off the brakes, giving the brakes a rest. At about 25, I'm going to engage again, bring me back down to a reasonable speed, especially on these steeper sections here and then I'm going to let off the brake again here it's still in first gear holding very nicely All right, I'm going to apply the brakes again and that just goes to show adding weight on the back like that I mean I when I was doing this unladen holding first gear no problem at all and maintaining a you know comfortable 15 to 20 miles per hour no problem at all just adding that extra weight on the back really makes a difference there putting the brakes on again to slow us down and letting off the brakes brakes again and you know thankfully this is a shorter stint so I'm 
most of us don't have to be concerned about heating our brakes or overheating our brakes up. But that's pretty neat, you know, with in tow haul mode, the way it'll lock into that uh, first gear. So now I'm on a flatter section. I'm gonna gently press the accelerator and we should see it shift. There it goes into second gear. So, you know, you can use the gear limit and manually shift, but it's kind of neat that if you have it in tow haul that it's programmed when you apply the, uh, the brakes like that to hold the current gear. Just makes, you know, one less thing you gotta remember to do. So pretty neat guys, I'm really impressed with, uh, with this truck and gas engines, just modern gas engines have come so far. And uh, you know, I would feel completely comfortable pulling, you know, even more. Uh, you know, this truck is rated uh, with gooseneck 18.5. I mean, you'd probably out, outdo your pin weight before then, but based on how this truck performed here today, I think it would handle this, this grade no problem, especially how short it is going up and, and down and, and do it with confidence, right? That's the main thing. So anyways, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.